welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Today I'm wearing a dress by Postcards from Briarwood on Instagram. I'll link them in the description. And today I'm going to be doing a speed build for a little centerpiece slash courtyard in front of Stitches' house just to fill the empty space. And I'm going to do a speed build of a waterfall as well. This is the area I'm going to be working in just to the right of my last speed build. So yeah, let's get started. This cliff that I'm working on first is going to be a two-tiered waterfall just to the side of the little centerpiece that I make for stitches. As always, I'm going to round all of my cliff edges in order to achieve a more organic look. Now that I've got this essential layout for the cliff, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how I want to structure the centerpiece in front of Stitches' house. I'm using an apple tree because I just think that fits his aesthetic. but. I was originally going to do little rounded paths where I've placed these light dirt squares, but I don't know, it just didn't work out well. It didn't give me enough room to make the tree into a centerpiece, so I'm going to change it, make the path a little different, and create a more angular shape. dirt patch that I'm placing here is where I'm going to put the apple tree. I'm just not placing the tree yet so that it's easier for me to see the area behind it for when I make the path. Because flowers and weeds can replicate on these dirt paths, I'm going to try to fill them up with custom designs. So here I just kind of experiment with what different custom design mixes would look like. Kind of like I did with the area in front of Frobert's house, I'm trying to place trees strategically so that Stitches' house isn't buried by them so that you can still see it.
you'll notice I am using mostly warm colors for my flowers and bushes. I do plan on incorporating a lot of blue and purple somewhere in the island, but it just doesn't mix well here since this neighborhood is very autumn themed. I know I want an outlet for this waterfall, so I just kind of trial and error until I figure out a shape for the pond that I like. I really like placing log stakes alongside each other and just alternating the direction they're facing because it kind of looks like fencing. Just a note, since I do use quite a few custom designs in this build, I did make a video showing the codes for every custom design that I have in my Nook phone. So yeah, it'll be linked in the description if you would like to watch that. interrupt my decorating to bring you this video of Lily already enjoying the area. I am stunned. I'm gonna fill up the rest of the space on this cliff when I figure out what exactly I want to put here. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the completed centerpiece. I'm trying to remember to share my map at the end of these speed builds now, so if you're interested I did put a map in my last speed build too. Here is an updated version. This is what my map is looking like with this centerpiece. Thank you so much for watching today and please let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see on my channel. Without further ado, here is my little sister Peaches with an outro message. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you the next time that we post another video. I love you!